Hello everyone, and welcome. I'm Verowak, and today I'll be watching Looper. This is a movie I've been wanting to watch for a while, I just never got around to it. So in this movie, there's Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Bruce Willis, and Emily Blunt. I think that's all I know, there's something about time travel. Emily Blunt is in it, so I'm probably gonna like it. She's just absolutely amazing. Fantastic in everything I've seen her in. Before we start, it's time for quote trivia. In this segment, I say a quote from a movie I've seen on this channel, and in the comments, let me know if you know the movie and the character who said it. Someday I will repay you. Unless, of course, I can't find you. Or I forget. If you enjoy my reactions and want to see the full length, you can join Patreon. That's also how you can support me for everything I do on this channel. Let me know what your favorite Emily Blunt movie is, actually. And now it's time for me to do a reaction while the movie plays. Endgame Entertainment oh, in association with DMG Entertainment. Oh, okay, fine. Shay. To uh. Oh, he's learning French. Vous avez. No, the T is silent. Damn it. Oh! Hello. <laughs> is he like a bounty hunter through time? Time travel has not yet been invented. Okay. But 30 years from now, it will have been. It will be instantly outlawed, used only Makes in sense. secret by the largest criminal organizations. The government. So when these criminal organizations in the future need someone gone, oh. they use specialized assassins in our present called loopers. Oh, hello, I like this. They just send the bodies back. He appears hands tied and head sacked. And I do the necessaries. Collect my silver. He, he killed him so fast, though. And I've just disposed of a body that technically does not exist. Oh my god, this is so interesting. Because they could look up the DNA and then they'd be like, there's, there's no one that exists with this. What? Why is he learning French? Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour. Oh, no, don't kill me. Oh, dead. Oh. This seems great. Congratulations for pulling up with me instead. Don't. What? We're going in, don't do that. Is that magic? When it first appeared, everyone thought we were going to get superheroes. Oh, oh. But it turns out this was it. Now it's just a bunch of assholes think they're blowing your mind floating quarters. Oh, that's all you can do? Just make something levitate? Okay. Oh. I look at TK. Oh, I levitate. He's in there right now with Abe. For what? Closed his loop. That when our employers want to close our contracts? As in they, like, kill them? Or... If we're still alive 30 years from now, they'll find our older self zapping back to us. Oh! And we'll kill him like any other job. What? This is so messed up. So he just killed himself. So we celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> Closing their loop. Oh my god, I love this. In a way, it's terrible, but. Ravi de tevoir. I want to know why he's learning French. Who's he trying to impress? Oh. <laughs> Damn. Bonjour, Joe. Ravi de te voir, Beatrix. Oh, Ooh just la for la. her? Ooh la la, indeed. Look at that. That's his life. He just, every day, just goes there. Loop closed. Here we go. Loop closed. I wouldn't be celebrating dying in 30 years. I couldn't be here any minute. Are they here? No. Oh. I knew then what he did, so I don't know why I asked. He was singing. Oh, is that him? Through the gag sack, but I could hear the tune. Oh, it's him. My mom, in a dark room, taking care of me, singing that tune. Oh, gosh. So where is he? Where are you? There's a new holy terror boss man in the future. 
and he's closing all the loops. Then he, he wanted a cigarette, so I untied him. Oh no. This is called letting your oh. loop run. It's not a good thing. What do I do? Uh, he's gonna be hunted, I guess. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Where all his money is. Ah. That took a while. I think it's easy looking this good. <laughs> Ty's gonna watch your apartment while we go have a talk with Abe. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought that Joe? Joseph Gordon Levitt would be the one that lets his self go, but Seth did it. Give me two minutes. Oh, he has to also look good. Holy crap. You didn't shoot your other foot off, did you, kid? <laughs> this man is from the future. Oh. He was sent back here by the mob. A one-way ticket to run the loopers. Oh, nice. The movies that you're dressing like are just copying other movies. This goddamn 20th century affectation. I don't know if he's doing this on purpose, but he looks like Bruce Willis. His, like, facial expression... And the way he speaks? I don't know if that was part of the thing, but... You were the youngest looper I ever hired. I remember they brought you in. I forget what it was for. Watch shop. You rolled one of our fronts, a watch shop. I want to know who his younger self is. I cleaned you up and put a gun in your hand. Yay. I'm grateful for that, Abe. I gave you something that was yours. And I think if you ask yourself, you ask who would I sacrifice for what's mine, I think Seth would be deep and cozy inside that circle. Oh, oh, like this. How do we know that you've been stashing half your bars? You're going to get out, you're going to go overseas, right? Studying up your Mandarin? French. You give him up, or you give us half your stash. Oh. But what happens to Seth after he gives up half his cash? Why the fuck French? We're going to France. I'm from the future. You should go to China. I'm going to France. You're going. <laughs> he's trying to give him advice from the future, and he's like, no. I like it. Floor safe under the rug. Oh. Is that his future self? Um, Seth, or? Oh. Oh my god, whatever he did to Seth is appearing for him now. Be, be at Dean Wire Street in 15 minutes. Did he get something else? Oh my god, he lost a finger! Oh my god, this is, there's another one. Oh my god, just go, go, go to the place, three gone. Oh my god, hurry up! Oh, his part of his face is gone. Oh gosh. There's his foot. Oh, his tongue's gone. Oh my god. Oh no. So how come it's happening now and these body parts weren't removed when he showed up? I'm a little confused. Oh my god, seriously? Stupid kid. Oh my god. Well, there goes his best friend. So, I don't know what those eye drops are. I, th I thought that was, they were doing drugs in the, um... Is, is the person not showing up? Interesting. That's got to be his older self. I mean, oh, what? There's no freaking head cover? Oh. Oh, this is not going as planned at all. Oh. 
I'll be train out of town. Run. There's your car. Gone. You took it. It's okay. It's same owner. Home sweet home? Huh. <laughs> the only person who can rob you is yourself. Two more trips, just do it. Oh, they're stealing from them. Don't shoot your foot. Oh, ouch. Listen, kid, I'm sorry. Tell him I'm gonna fix this. Jesus, Murphy. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 this is not. He has not planned this. Oh my god. It is not a good day for him. What? Are we gonna see older hymns day? Slightly late. Oh. This is a what if scenario? What? Going to France. Oh, he's going to. That's not France. Oh. Look at that transition. Oh. That's a no. That was a yes. There we go, a happy life, right? You're 30. Where the hell is Emily Blunt, by the way? Here they are. I mean, he knew this day was going to come. And now he has to trust his young- he has to trust himself to not shoot him. Oh, perfect. Nice! Oh my god, this is- a, this is really good. I love it. So now his like memories are shifting. What are you doing? Joe, I told you to run. Oh. Damn it, Joe. Freaking listen to yourself, you know? <laughs> I was just about to say, has he been sent to track him down? Oh. Now he gets to go around protecting himself? I mean, yeah, because he dies, he dies. You stupid little shit. <laughs> now he gets to babysit himself. Get on the train. Listen to yourself, damn it. I don't know what that is. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, is he setting up a meeting with himself? Because that'd be pretty neat. Hello there. Joe? Oh, Beatrix. Be at. Oh. That's why her name is Beatrix. We eat. I ordered something. Steak and eggs. Rare and scrambled. Two steak and eggs coming up. <laughs> this is so fun. The 
There's another girl who works here on the weekends. Janet. Less letters. <laughs> That'd be better. <laughs> this is my life now. You had yours already, so why don't you die? Why don't you just take your little gun out between your legs and do it? Boy. Boy. I hurt myself, it changes your body. This is what I do now, change your memory. It doesn't matter! Oh. My memory's cloudy. Because my memories aren't really memories. Because they're changing. And they grow clearer or cloudier as they become more or less likely. So weird. I can remember what you do after you do it. I know two things. I know what's happening in my head. And I know that you're still going to meet her. Oh. She's going to save your life. Oh, that's sweet. Cut your high and mighty bullshit. I don't need my life. Shut your fucking child mouth. <laughs> Oh, gosh, that would be so weird. You are going to take her love like a sponge. And you think maybe I'm clear of the past. But no. And I'm going to tell you what happens to this beautiful woman who saves your worthless fucking life. Oh. No! <laughs> I guess that's why he wanted to make sure that he doesn't die. So he can save her? What? Have you heard of the Rainmaker? Who is it? This is a piece of identifying information on the Rainmaker. Okay. He lives here, now, in this county. And I'm gonna use this to find him, and I'm gonna kill him. Oh, in present day, okay. <laughs> oh good, there's no one there. Get to the fields. You can lose him in the fields. Oh, gosh. Stay out of town! <laughs> oh! This is so... so weird. I like how he's just, like, joining them on the chase. They could just capture him and torture him. Cut off a leg. But it'll be fine. Kid's an idiot. There she is. Stranger danger. But if you show your face here again, I will cut you the fucking half. Job well done. Oh, he's in withdrawal. Guess he's gonna show up again. Oh. You stop! Oh no, ouch. <laughs> uh, hello? Hey, how long since you dropped? Day. You going through withdrawals, junkie. <laughs> oh, is that the kid? Who's that man? He's just a vagrant baby. No, he's not. His shoes are too shiny. Oh, observant kid. Night, sweetie. Night, Sarah. Oh, curious. Oh, memories. Hey! Oh, okay. Oh. Good memory. She's gonna disappear, right? The first time I saw her face. Aww. First time I saw her face. He's trying to save her, but it's gonna end up not even being in, in each other's lives. I'm not a threat to you. Oh, your boy. Just one thing I need you to do, and you'll never have to deal with me again. Oh, she knows the numbers. Remember, how'd you get this? Hey. What? Oh. No. Oh, that's where he got shot. Now you're gonna tell me who you are and what the fuck you're doing on my farm. 
Okay, those numbers are important. Time travel hasn't been invented yet. In 30 years, it will have been. You're a looper. Oh. He had three houses marked on it. Yours is one of them. Oh, boy. So he's coming here to murder my son because he thinks he might be this rainmaker. Oh. You know what the numbers mean? This is Sid's birthday. And this is the med code of the hospital he was born in. How the hell do you know the med code of the hospital? Three kids, three houses marked oh. on his map. He knows one of them's a rainmaker. He doesn't know which. What's he going to do? Kill them. <sighs> oh. Uh, this is not good. Would maybe him killing a kid makes the parent become the rainmaker or something? <laughs> One down, two to go, I guess. I'm gonna be out here and you're in the house. We need a way to communicate. We need buzzers or walkies or something. I wanna help the man. I need you to stay away from that man, okay? Hopefully the kid listens. Wouldn't it be better to like talk outside? Tell me if your hair are coming. What are we doing here? Come on vacation. The kid's like a genius? Do you kill people? <laughs> um. With your gun? You want a gun like mine? Yeah. What are you gonna do with it? Stop bad things from happening. Like what? job, Joe. How long have you and your mom been out here on the farm? She's not. Not his mom. Sarah doesn't know, but I remember my real mom. Oh. When I was a baby, I couldn't stop it. Does he have powers? I couldn't stop her from getting killed. I saw it. Oh no. You should talk to your mom about this. She's not my mom. She's a liar. Oh? Interesting. You said you were his mom. You told me you're not. Oh. He said that? He's not your son. Who is he? He's my son. I didn't want to give up my life in the city. So I dropped him here. My sister, she raised him. He called her mom. Interesting. So she is his mom, but he doesn't think so. Jesus Christ. He remembers it. You gotta talk to him about I it. I told you one thing. He's like... He's helping. You should help Joe watch. Joe. Because he can't stay awake all the time. He's keeping us safe. Let's do this now, okay? This kid. Are you telling me you want alone time? No. Then why don't you put that where it belongs? I feel like the kid's got like TK powers or something. You can't tell me what to do because you're not my mom. Oh, did he accidentally kill his mom or her sister? What? Holy crap. Kid's gonna be terrifying. Well, it is terrifying. So he's got more powers than just floating something in his hand. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Evening, man. Evening. How can I help you? Can I come in? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Just piss off the kid and then it'll be fine. He did not look at the frog. Oh. Looking for his father, too. Similar looking build. Late 50s. Line of sight him. Okay, you can leave now. Make yourself at home. He said the boy's in the city with his father. When they getting back? Couldn't tell you. But he's not. Why, why, why is she lying? The kid's right there. Go upstairs. I can never get a signal this far out of town. <laughs> no, don't go downstairs. Oh my god, this is not good. And if you find him, there's a hell of a prize. 
chunk of money like that. <laughs> Show me upstairs. Oh my god, kid, freaking hide. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh! It's just men trying to figure out what they would do to keep what's theirs, what they got. I'm not gonna let Sarah get killed. What if you accidentally kill her, though? He's a good kid. Creepy. Good kid, though. Sarah! And that's how they become... Romance? They don't become romance, how they become a couple at some point. Oh, that's just freaking creepy. Hello, Joe. All right. <laughs> He's going to bust through the door. What's wrong? What's going on? Time for a little romance. What? Oh my god, and then Ultra Joe's gonna get all these memories. Oh, and then he's gonna forget his wife more and more. Oh no. Oh, this is terrible. You protected Sid from that gap, man. Oh, he saved your ass, didn't he? He saved yeah. my ass. <laughs> he's a... A very special kid, isn't he? He's a good kid. Hello, Joe. Oh. He's coming here, Jess. My loop is coming here. I gotta take you in, man. As long as Abe's got one gat man standing, he's gonna be hunting you till his dying day. Oh, his eyebrows look so weird. I'm gonna get in my truck, and you're just gonna... Don't shoot the kid! Oh, no! Oh, God! Use, use your TK powers and hold them or something. What? Oh, don't hit your head! Oh. <laughs> I love how she tackles him to move him out of the way. Explode? Oh, no! That was amazing. It's him. You knew. If he grew up with me raising him. He doesn't. You stay away from him, Joe. Is she also a like time traveler, looper? I don't know. Oh. Hey, Sid. Oh. Can't kill him now, can you? My loop knows Sid's the kid he's looking for. Oh. I got him, Abe! I got him! You did good, kid. Yeah. Good job. Not such a fuck up now, huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> he has access to everything. Anyone else? Got a shield and everything. Oh. Hey there, Abe. Guess who's coming to see ya? Oh. Take this truck and take your gold and go live your life. You go kill the boy, that how you fix it? You're goddamn right I'm gonna kill that boy. Not gonna happen. You let this boy live, he's gonna take everything you've got. See what he becomes. I haven't seen that yet. Oh. Oh. Jousting. Oh no, this is not good. Kid Blue just wants to do a good job, and he's just 
dead. Stop, please, he can shoot us. Duck down, Stop. Oh, he's not happy. Oh my god. Yeah, he can't control the powers at all. She has no no weapons on her. Well, use your TK stuff. It's pretty clumsy. No! Oh no. Pissed off the wrong kid. Oh, is he gonna get her by accident? I hope not. It's okay. I love you. Calm down. Mommy loves you. It's okay. Okay, good. I need you to run into the fields. No, Mom, no, I don't want to leave you. Oh. No, oh, goddammit! Shoot your own foot or something. Move. Or your hand, I don't know. Then I saw it. I saw a mom who would die for her son. A man who would kill for his wife. A boy, angry oh, no. and alone. Laid out in front of him the bad path, I saw it. Don't. Not himself, right? Just like remove your finger. So I changed it. And he's gone. Where's Joe? Um, I had to go away, baby. Yeah. Well, Sid's gonna be in a better place now. Good guy, Joe. And now everything will be happy, right? No Rainmaker? I really enjoyed this. This was really fantastic. So it's uh, written and directed by jo Ryan Johnson. That's the um, uh, the last Jedi I think he did. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Uh, wow, okay, so I don't know what I was expecting. This was not at all anything I would expect. Um, I, I sort of thought that uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis would be some kind of like buddy cop not really buddy cop but from the future and the present but this was way better than i could have anticipated i really i like how joseph gordon levitt tried to take bruce willis's personality or like his mannerisms to play the character it seemed like it at least i was not a fan of joseph gordon levitt's eyebrows it seemed like it was way too done up it looked really weird and his eyes stood out a lot i've never noticed his eyes before but i feel like maybe he was wearing contacts I don't know. I didn't notice what Bruce... I don't know what Bruce Willis's eyes look like or his, but I feel like Joseph Gordon-Levitt's eyes look weird. There's some... If, if his face felt a bit weird. I don't know why. But that was extremely, extremely good. I loved how there was just always a chase going on. Obviously, young Joe wants to do his, his looper job. You know, he wants to survive, have his life. But old Joe, I guess when he was younger, he killed his older self. Right? Wait. Wait a minute, Kay. I feel like that's what happened. Is Old Joe, when he was younger, killed his older self, and then he knew that was going to happen or whatever, so um, he wanted to change that, and he changed young Joe's life completely. But Joe... Okay, I'm going to say Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis did that to try to save his wife because his wife went killed, but in the end, I feel like at the end... He was forgetting her because of uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's past life was changing. So 
his past was changing. That was really good. I really like the fact that he, you know, he could write on his arm, be like, hey, I don't know how to contact you. And then he writes on his arm and he'll know that he'll get it, which is really, really neat. I liked how there was Emily Blunt and Sid. So she's a TK and he's way, way more powerful. I just think this was really good. Everything about it was just so entertaining and so amazing to watch. That's all I can say. I love the time traveling part. I really wish we knew. I would like to know who Abe was yet when he was younger, because clearly he went from the future to the past, but those 30 years. So in the present, he's 30 years younger. It's possible. Yeah, I don't really know what happened, but I feel like his younger self must have been somewhere and I don't know where. At first, I thought it was um, the kid, Kid Blue, or whatever his name is, because wouldn't that be pretty neat? But then again, you'd be putting your own life at risk if you did that. So, yeah. This was good. I want more movies like this. I think the end was absolutely perfect. It was just a slow build of the character, uh, Young Joe, caring and getting close to like Sid and... Sarah and then at the end he's like this is not gonna stop so he did the only thing he could especially because his gun doesn't shoot more than 15 yards which is nice how they mentioned that so like that you have to think outside the box in a way so he's within 15 yards that makes sense and I liked his little trick to um break up the asphalt so there's like asphalt dust concrete dust I feel like it had to be concrete dust everywhere so kid couldn't see him and then just get him closer and then shoot him. That was nice. I think one of my favorite things was actually when Sid fell down the stairs and you have young Joe like, oh my God, I'm going to go save him. And then Sarah's like, oh God, we got to get out of here. So <laughs> they're like, but I was like, she's not angled correctly to save. And then she tackles him. I was like, oh, okay. She knows how this is because she has her own safe, safe that she hides in whenever he gets upset. Really, this is... A movie I'm definitely gonna watch again. It was super great and it was very refreshing. I love time traveling. This was a really interesting take on it. The questions that I had originally sort of got answered throughout the way. But I'm like, well, why don't like what happens if there's no no hood or whatever? Especially if you're going back in time. Thankfully, uh, older Joe was able to change things, which is great. He just wanted his wife to survive he just wanted his younger self to have a good life like without worrying about in 30 years i'll get um sent back and killed and in the end everything changed i can see all of the both of their characters i mean both of the time whatever both of the joe's way of thinking and how it makes sense to them right older joe is just love of his life changed his life around, was there for him, made him his life good instead of being just a junkie and nothing great about it. So obviously he wants her to survive. Just enjoyable, just amazing. This is, I'm so glad I watched this movie. All right, so time for some facts. So um, while filming the fire escape scene, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt filmed it on his 30th birthday and he was left hanging there on the stunt wires while the crew sang him happy birthday and also wheeled out a birthday cake. That's hilarious. That's pretty neat. <laughs> that would be a nice surprise. It's like little things like that, that you're like, what's going on? And then everyone starts singing happy birthday. And I'm just guessing he's just laughing now. Oh, so the script originally called for Joe to move to Paris when he got older, which is why he spends time learning French. However, Ryan Johnson realized that they didn't have the money to shoot in Paris. So he considered using New Orleans to stand in for Paris, but rejected that idea. So the Chinese distributor for the film then offered to pay for the crew to film in Shanghai. And Ryan Johnson accepted, both because it solved the Paris problem and because he felt Shanghai better reflected the future setting of the movie. Oh, that's pretty neat. Little things like that that, I mean, I would not have guessed. I like how they inserted it into the movie and it's like, no, you know, I'm from the future. Go to Shanghai. That's great. I would never have guessed that there was like a filming location issue. Uh, Emily Blunt revealed that she agreed to star in the movie after reading half the script. She didn't even know what her character was. I completely, I mean, if I read half the script, I'd be like, this is amazing. I want to be in this, right? 
That's awesome. Joe is seen studying French without much success. Ironically, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is fluent in French. I mean, I feel like it'd be a bit difficult to, maybe not, maybe just fake being not good at a language that you're good at, you know? I feel like it would take a bit of practice and I feel like I would feel like I'm going overboard to making it sound like I don't know what I'm doing, but I think it would just work fine. Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis co-starred again two years later in Sin City, A Damned Kill For. I need to see those, although they shared no scenes together. I know I knew Bruce Willis was in Sin City. I didn't know Joseph Gordon-Levitt is in Sin City. That is it for IMDb trivia. I think this movie was just overall extremely well done, very interesting, very captivating, and I love the character development and how old Joe and young Joe are so very different from each other, but not as much. Like, old Joe obviously knows how young Joe is. Young Joe doesn't trust old Joe. But that was, I love that dynamic. It was very, very interesting. I do like the fact that Emily Blunt also had some, t it was a TK, but I feel like it would have been nice to see her, like, do something with it. But then again, she wasn't the, the like, main event in terms of TK. Sid was the focus, which makes sense because he's, his upbringing determines the future type thing so it was very very fun i hope you enjoyed it if you would like to see the full length reaction it is available on patreon that's also where you get to participate in polls for upcoming movies and also be part of the community as usual thank you everyone for watching and i will see you all in the next video